please listen carefully. So I really don't have a whole lot to talk about tonight. Not a whole lot to, to report, game-wise, novel-wise. So I'll talk a little bit about uh, role-playing games, uh, of which I am trying to get one started with my gaming group. I have played some uh, role-playing games, uh, D&D, uh, a little bit of Vampire, but I've never run one myself, and I have always wanted to kind of be a storyteller uh, it's always something I've been very interested in doing, you know, crafting the, the, the campaign and, and kind of being the final arbiter and leading all of the players' characters down the path, uh, but, but also kind of letting them make their own decisions and stuff. It's just uh, something fascinating to me and I, I, I've always wanted to do it. All of my friends and, and myself and my wife too, who's going to play as well, we're all uh, big Star Trek fans. So I managed to find, uh, I think it's out of print now, uh, so I kind of found one, if you know what I mean. It's the uh, Last Unicorn games. They made a, uh, a Star Trek The Next Generation uh, role-playing game. So I, I found that in all of the source books and, and, and things. I am uh, crafting a campaign and, and I'm I'm kind of taking over the job of, of making up the characters, kind of fit the story, and then I'll let my uh, my friends and, and the group kind of pick and choose which characters uh, they want to play. They're kind of giving me a little bit of uh, uh, feedback as far as, you know, what role they want to play. But, uh, but basically, the game is you're on a, uh, a starship, you know, you're a crew, usually uh, just starting out, you have your characters or your, your you know players are all uh, either they all start out as ensigns uh, or or they all start out as like department heads uh, or various you know officers around the ship, some bridge officers or whatever, uh, just so everybody has something to do, um, but they're not the captain because being the captain is uh, a lot of responsibility to give to just one person. So usually the narrator, uh, which is what the game or dungeon master in uh, in Star Trek role playing game is called uh, the narrator. So usually the narrator kind of plays the captain as an NPC, uh, and the captain has you know the final say, just like the narrator kind of does. But uh, you know, in the ready room, you know, around the conference table or whatever, you know, the captain will get all his uh, uh, his officers' opinions about stuff and you know decide what to do. But then you know the officers or whatever, they're the ones who actually go on the away missions and, and they're the ones, you know, piloting the ship and doing all that stuff. So, yeah, I, I think it's going to be fun. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got going on. I will have definitely more to talk about on Wednesday. Uh, Corey, I will hear from you tomorrow. And again, I will be back on Wednesday.